Hey. Am I live? Oop, there we go. Am I live? Is it working? I am live. All right. Uh, what do we got here? So I don't think I've ever hosted the actual live on my own before, other than direct from my phone. Um, ah, neat. All right, give it a few minutes to see if anybody else has time. It's last minute. See if anybody else has time to to join in. But um, so the the Monoprice Di3, I got hit by the power plug bug um, where it burned out on the board last week, and hopefully my voice doesn't give out on me. I've been sick all week. Um, but Monoprice was great about getting me a replacement, so that's what this is. So I want to get it out, get it unboxed, put it together. It's only four screws, and um, uh, I want to pop open the, um, the power controller enclosure and see if they've made any changes to the, the connector design since the unit that I had from months ago till now. Um, to see if there's has been any changes to that or if it's the same. So, how many? Let's see if we have any. Uh, just you, Curtis. I can't tell if there's anybody else there. All right, well, it's just hitting five on the clock, so I'll give it a few minutes and see what happens. Oh, I left it inside. Um, shoot, it's in the house. Curtis, I got your stickers today. Thank you. That's what I forgot to bring back out with me. We'll, um... Appreciate that, though. All right. Let's see how this is working. Huh. This is odd. Yeah, this is showing me that I'm not live yet. Okay. Well, let's get the show on the road. I don't know how many uh, people are going to join us last minute, so let's get the show on the road, and we'll um, we'll see what's going on. Uh, why is it unpublished? I don't know. It should not be. Let's see if I can figure that out. Here. Oh, there we go. Public. Okay, it should be set to public now. Um, yeah, it should be set to public now. There we go. I know. Figured out how to pop out the chat. All right. Should we wait a little longer, or should I get the uh, get the knife out and get going on this thing? Should be on. Start doing surgery.
my, my homemade medicine ball, um, boiled lemonade and, and black tea with a little lemon. All right, well, let's go. We'll at least go slow here, then if, see if anybody else wants to join in. So safety first, remember, sharp objects, never cut yourself. Never, uh, never throw them at your brothers or sisters or wives or siblings or anybody like that. Because um, that could be bad. Oh. All right. So, we have a box with pretty much everything all in one bag. So let me see if I can get underneath there and we'll lift this piece out of the way and set that down. Definitely in much nicer condition than I sent it back to them in. Um, Inside the bottom of the box, just unattached from this, there is a user manual, um, an extra sheet of their imitation build tack here, and a um, little bit of whitish filament, 195, 220 PLA, heating tem, 50 to 70. So there's a little bit of that. find the bottom of this bag. Why is the chat slowed? I don't know. Uh, don't know. I don't see anything about that being slow. It says it's optimized for interaction, low latency. Um, so it should be there. Slow mode is on. I don't know why that is. Um, or do I necessarily know how to change that? Let's see. Restore chat. Slow mode is on. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask Dustin about that. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that one. I've never hosted my own live stream. I've always been part of ones done by other people. So kind of been victim to their settings. But I will ask Dustin about that and get it figured out. So there's a little bit of tape on the bag here. this. And then our single sheet build guide in English only. Well, front side, back side in, in English only, which since I've done this before, I don't necessarily need. Um, so let's see if we can get the foam off of this guy. Again, there's more tape. So I should just leave the knife out, huh?
Okay, so the control box is on that side. This guy, and we have this guy. Okay, so let's move this box out of the way. We'll come back to that here in a minute, and try to get this to sit. So, <clears throat> a couple of things I can tell you that are different, just right off the bat from the the last version that I sent back. All the wire wrapping here is in this. Uh, cloth and this actually looks like high temp cloth uh, split loom um, as opposed to corrugated plastic tubing so that is definitely different um, I don't see anything else that looks to be terribly different uh, uh, okay this looks to be crimped instead of on a connector here actually I take that back that looks like the they're miss nope the heating element wires um, here on the side of the side of the hot end here. There used to be a little connector there that would actually come loose sometimes, and those look like that it's crimped with heat shrink over it now instead. Um, so that looks like to be an improvement. So. We'll see. The main thing I want to do is get this control box open, though, and um, find out if, you know, if they made any changes to the, to the board. So I'm going to reach over here. We're going to cut this single wire tie here. And we are going to slide this through here and it will be Four screws, two here and two underneath, and that is the extent of the assembly of this thing. But let's look here in the box, because um, that's where the screws are going to be at. We'll see what else is in the box here. Don't optimize for best interaction. I think that's what slows it. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I can... Uh, yeah, I can't change that while we're... Unfortunately, I can't change that while we're streaming. So, but I will change that on the next one. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, go to your live dashboard within the chat module. Click on settings. Select live dashboard within the chat module. Click on settings. Select enable slow mode. I don't see a settings. I don't see a settings here. I mode. Live chat. Settings. Enable live chat. There we go. Is that any better? Slow mode is off. Chat away. Woohoo. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so back to the box here. The accessories that come with this thing. You have the bracket for the spool holder, the power cord, the rest of the spool holder here, uh, <clears throat> the requisite spatula. Let's see. can't see if you guys the requisite spatula here 
my favorite accessory, the push stick for clearing nozzle jams. USB cable, a bag of assorted tools and zip ties and such, and some um, little rubber feedy bumpers, not to be confused with rubber baby buggy bumpers, SD card which has our printable files, and a micro drill bit for cleaning out the nozzle. So I'm going to toss most of those pieces back in this box for now. I'm going to slide back around to the side of the printer. Um, I'm going to get out the four screws that hold that thing together. One, two, three, four. And I'm not going to bother with the spool holder because when this goes back in, it's... Um, it's home inside the house. It's actually going in inside an IKEA, uh, Ikea enclosure, which uses a, um, a top-mounted spool thingy. So I'm not going to bother putting that on there. But if somebody did want to put the spool holder together, it's essentially two screws. It goes right there. This attaches to there. Hand twist tight, and you are done. But I will toss that out of the way for now. I do wonder what these two wire ties are for, and I may go back and visit that later. But at the moment, I'm not overly concerned about that. So I just want to get this to, uh, together quickly. And that is the wrong size. Should we? Nope, not that one. one of these. Not that one. There we go. Okay. I'm going to turn off my mic for a second so you don't hear this thing, um, the drill going. Then there are two more screws here on the inside that you guys can't see, but one here and one up here, opposite of where I just put those ones on. Top one, I'm just going to do it by hand just because I can't reach up in there in that direction. Okay. Well, I'm down here and I know from experience I'm going to check that the belt is tight and that everything looks that it's lined up good that the end stops are triggering appropriately. Um, there are a few wires that have to be connected. Then they're all labeled, like this one is labeled as a C. It plugs right into the stepper here. Then there's a few on this side. Um, one of them is the, these two have a wire tie that you need to snip carefully without cutting the wire holding them together. One of them is the A stepper wire which goes to your x-axis stepper here. One of them is your B 
which goes to here. And the last one should be the end stop connector D, which goes here. This is for your Z end stop. Now to finish assembling this thing, the only other thing that you have to do is connect this to this clip right here, um, which you can't see from there. At the bottom, there is a, a clip, and all you do is let's try to untangle this a bit first. All you do is clip that in. There, easier said than done. With the cable chain. And voila, assembly is complete. Uh, if I had put the spool holder on it, theoretically at this point, I could level the bed, turn it on, and print. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying here in the chat. off there you go it's off okay. um, this was about 280 when I bought it I bought it on a Black Friday special um, I think it's still going for about $300 at monoprice right now uh, it's the exact same unit that you can buy through Wanhao direct and I personally recommend going with if you're going to go with one I personally recommend going with the monoprice branded version over the Wanhao purely for the RMA and the warranty. Um, I mean, the, the connector burned out on this last Monday, or it's either Sunday or Monday. I contacted them Tuesday after the three-day weekend, um, and it, they basically sent me a shipping label. I threw it in a box, sent it back to them, and a new one arrived today. So it was that easy. As soon as I sent it back to them, they sent me a new one. Um, no questions asked. So... But yeah, it's a, um, it's it's a good price, little unit. Um, there are a lot of hacks, a lot of mods out there. Um, there's a large community. Angus is um, very fond of this unit as well. Um, I mean, until it exploded, it was my workhorse. But uh, sorry, I don't want to say exploded. Maybe that's not the best way to put it. But so the last thing I want to do here, though, before we put this thing on. And it, which is funny here is because there's a lot of wear and tear on these screws. Um, hang on, I'm going to mute the mic just for a second. <coughs> Alert there. Um, one thing I wanted to do was I want to get this control box here taken apart. And um, I want to see if they've updated the connectors inside. So... Let's go ahead and, and do that quick before we fire it up. I apologize. I wish I could see the chat better from over there. Yeah, Monoprice does have really good customer service. Uh, fortunately for me, they're also local. So theoretically, I could have driven this thing over to them and... Um, they wouldn't let me bring home a replacement the same day, but I could have at least driven it over to them and dropped it off for the will call. So, all right, so let me, let me get to uh, unscrewing this thing here. I'm going to turn off the mic so you guys don't have to listen to uh, that. And um, I'll turn the mic back on as soon as I get the, the screws out.
Okay then, that front one there is, uh, appears to be stripped out. So, let me um, grab some pliers. Somewhere in this mess. No? I know I had some in here a couple days ago. I do apologize for the mess here behind me, guys. We had a uh, big power outage the other day, so everything got yanked around trying to uh, trying to get to the outlets to reset um, gear and equipment in the racks. It was a mess. Um, I do not have... I apparently do not have my pliers or my channel locks here. Could have sworn that I did. Uh, yeah, the CR10 is getting great reviews. Um, I'm hearing all kinds of good things about them. I personally have a few engineering concerns about that, but I don't want to call foul on it until I actually see one, especially when I'm seeing the prints that people are getting uh, off of it. I mean, Chuck. Chuck loves his. Um, that's his go-to machine now. Um, Garrett and some of the others. Here we go. Needle nose and vice grips. I knew I had them somewhere. Um, but that's turning into a lot of people's go-to machine. My, from an engineering side, my biggest concern with the CR10 is that on the Z-axis, there's only a single threaded rod basically moving one side. Single stepper motor and single rod the other side is free floating so theory says that if the gantry like here if your cart is over on this side the free floating side and you start moving this side you're going to get a little bit of latency before that other side tries to move up with it um, now granted if the size of this that may or may not even be a factor I mean it could be completely negligible I I can't say because again I don't have one but that's engineering wise that's my one concern Okay. Ugh. Okay. So I'm going to set that screw aside and not put it back in. Okay. So if you guys can tell, I there's four screws here that I left connected. Those are actually the power supply inside of here. So I'm going to slide this back, and <clears throat> hopefully that comes out. So there's the the power supply. The cooling fan on the back. These have heat shrink and they all look to be, I don't like the bend on that, but it's adequately in there. They do seem to have spade connectors on them, so they're not just randomly um, shoved in underneath the, the connectors. Um, and I apologize, you guys don't have the best view from there. I don't have a fancy dual camera setup. Okay, so um, the affected connectors here that burn out commonly on these are inside of here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that to show that well. So there's two connectors here. And then there's two, two connectors here. These two connectors are for the power and the heat bed. And on the previous iterations of this board, these were plug-in connectors. And mind you, this is the top. So the board is hanging upside down from the top. Um, these were plug-in connectors similar to these two. So they did change this and put the, um, the new style connectors on there. So that, that is a good thing. Uh, this does have the, the updated connectors for that. Um, so they're not they're non-removable basically. Um, they're not they're not plugging their screw in. So what was happening before is connectors were plugged in. The weight of the wire was, was gravity was pulling it down just a little bit. Eventually you don't have a solid connection in here, and you start getting arcing when you start pulling higher loads. Um, start getting arcing when you start pulling higher loads. So when you start pulling. 10 or 15 amps for the heat bed, um, 
or, or the entire board altogether, it, it starts putting a lot of stress on those connectors. Let's see. FT5, I don't know much about the FT5. Um, uh, the CR10 is what I was talking about, was a single threaded rod. I don't know about the FT5. And so, yeah, again, a lot, um, Mason Ritchie, I don't know if that's an issue or not. Um, that's just my, my practical engineering background. I mean, I, I'm not an engineer by trade. Well, not, not a mechanical engineer by, by trade. Um, so everything I'm taught or everything I know is either common sense or what I learned from my dad or my grandfather or just life. Um, and, you know, to me, common sense says that when you, when you, when you pick up a ruler, um, you know, if you've got a, a flat bar and you pick up a ruler, the sign's not going to pick itself up. Um, so, uh, but I could be, I said I could be wrong. I'm not a mechanical engineer, and people do seem to be getting great prints out of it. So I'm not going not gonna to call foul on it until I see otherwise. But anyway, um, I want to grab a picture of this from my phone. So I can um, get a picture to Chuck to let him know that it has been updated. In here. And um, we'll put this thing back together quick and then we'll fire it up. Um, this particular unit, it's, it's almost ironic that it, it blew up, um, or the board burned out when it did. Um, and I say that because my intention is to replace um, the board in here with a 32-bit rearm smoothie board. Um, in fact, I was getting ready to do that when it went down last weekend. But I didn't, you know, the unit was under warranty, so I don't want to, I didn't want to not have the, uh, the stock board to go back to should I, should I ever need to. Um, so that's why I RMA'd it. And it's a good thing I did, because now we know um, that it has, has the updated connectors on that board, if nothing else. And actually the braided shield here, too, the, uh, instead of the corrugated, which looks much nicer, and I think it's um, probably going to uh, be much nicer as well. So I think that's about it. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to move this thing into the house before I actually fire it up. Um, one thing that I would recommend if anybody is looking at these, there's, um, I think once the stream goes, finishes, I can add comments, uh, to it. There's a couple of guides online on how to blueprint the duplicator three. And basically what it is, is it's a process of loosening up these, these frame screws, bringing your Z axis up all of the way and squaring everything off and then tightening it back up all the screws. And that way that you guarantee um, your frame is square um, to both the bed and, and your work surface. So I will probably end up doing that, and I'll post a link on that process. It's, I mean, it's not hard. Um, it's, it's just a few minutes of, of manual turning. But uh, it's, it's definitely good to start on a clean, clean foot. You don't know what screws have loosened or what things have shifted during, uh, during shipping, you know, especially knowing these are coming out of China. So I'll, I'll try to get that added to the link if anybody is interested in that. Um, other than that, it'll probably be uh, tomorrow before this thing gets moved into the house and fired up. But I thought you guys might like to see what was inside. So. Anybody still there have any questions for me before I um, call it an evening? or? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? 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 Anyone?
Do 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 do. Catching on here. Well, something's catching. Raspberry Pis. Yeah, the Raspberry Pis are great. I have probably several dozen of them laying around here um, for various different tasks. But, um, so, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, I'll go ahead and cut this short then, and um, I'll let you guys get back to your dinners and your days and everything else that you're doing. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching along. Um, now that I'm starting to get my voice back a little bit, I hope to have a, uh, another video that we've been working on um, probably out in the next day or so. So stay tuned for that. I'll have my, uh, my furry friends involved in that one. So that'll be worth, uh, worth hanging in there to watch. All right, well, thank you. We'll see you soon.